Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my everything I purchased during summer SAS 2024. Um, did I go overboard? I think we can get the easy answer when this video is finished. So let's see everything I got. I will be placing everything on this empty desk or table one by one. So here we go. Actually, I'll do it in, in groups. So first I have my little potted plant or potted tree and I got this for what 16 or 17 dollars so yes this is item number one item number two there are four items in here I did get the luminous gift set and I got this for around seven dollars which makes each item inside around dollar forty or dollar seventy I think around dollar seventy so that was a great buy and next I got two of the gentle clean foaming hand soap refills strawberry pound cake I love the artwork on the carton and these were 75% off but I'm not sure if they were supposed to be because it wasn't ringing up it was ringing up at 50% off so they changed the price because they put it in the 75% off bin and they were around I think three dollars and thirty cents or something crazy like that so that was a huge score in my opinion and the next category will be the moisturizing body wash and each one of these they were around three dollars I know you're the one was three dollars flat to, and I think the Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit was $3, up to $4, I believe. So those were amazing, especially the $3 ones. And my lone Costa Rica Pink Pineapple Sunrise Conditioner. This one was, I believe, $4, something like that. So that's my only hair product that I purchased. Next category, shower gel. I got the Calypso Clementine, two Sunwash Citrus, one Fairy Tail, one Firecracker Pop, and the Uplifting Boost. So those are the, all of the shower gels that I purchased. And we'll start back from here. And my only lotion that I got was the white citrus. I mentioned that I would not get any body creams or body lotions, but you know, I guess I cheated because I did get the luminous body lotion and my white citrus. So yeah, that's my, that's one of my failures for this sass, unfortunately. Next category, Fine Fragrance Mist. I did end up getting the Jolly Gingerbread Village, Tahiti Island Dream, Forever Sunshine, two Calypso Clementines, one Denim and Daisies, and Rio Pineapple Mango. And I got all of these for 75% off. I think the Rio Pineapple Mango ended up being $3 because there was an extra coupon online. So they were around 3 to $4 each. And I made a mistake. I ended up getting two of the Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit Moisturizing body washes, so let me add that to my little pile there. Next category, it goes to the three-way candles, and if you remember, I said I would hardly get any three-way candles. I would not be looking for them. I ended up lying, and I did look for them, and I I'm a little disappointed with myself. But last sass, I definitely got a lot more, so this is a little better. So I got, and they're all 75% off, except for one. Vanilla Coconut Surf, White Chocolate Macadamia, Calypso Clementine, got two of those, actually got three of those, Candy Emporium, Pure Wonder, Champagne Apple and Honey, Raspberry Thumbprint, Strawberry Snowflakes, Bali Rainforest, Black Thai, Almond Croissant, that one was $8.50, and Pistachio Toasted Vanilla. So I got the newer candles because uh, I found one store that was generous enough to to swap out my 75% off candles, so I ended up swapping out some Bali Rainforest, so I got the Champagne Apple and Honey, and the Calypso Clementine candle, so that was really nice of that one store. Next category, hand soap. So these were all 75% off. I got the Pineapple Mango, Sunlit Palm Trees, two Calypso Clementines, two Wildberry French Toast, three Doggone Best Rainbow Cereals, seven of the Coconut Lime Verbenas, and one Black Oak and Patchouli. And the same store, they let me swap out two of my soaps. So I ended up getting the two Wild Berry French Toasts and Calypso Clementine. So that was awesome. And my lighting isn't that great, but we're going to continue. So next category will be perfumes and colognes. I did end up getting two A Thousand Wishes. They were a dollar, or I wish they were a dollar, $11 and some change. I got Coastal Cliffs, three Mahogany Woods. The Mahogany Woods ended up being $8.50. That was amazing. Three Canyon Colognes and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six of the Calypso Clementine perfumes. And as you can see, the table is getting quite, quite full. So let's continue. We are not done yet. And I did end up getting one candle holder. I got the Honeycomb with B and this was 50% off. So it was one of the few items that uh, was not 75% off. My lone candle holder, I love it. 
two body butters, Calypso Clementine and Luminous. So I kind of have a thing for body butter. I don't use them very often and I need to start using them because I have quite a few to go through. And I said I would not get too many single wick candles or hopefully zero, but of course I lied. I got Gingerbread Bakery and Lemongrass. I got just one soap bar, so I picked up the Hero. And these are two of my really fun finds. I got Coconut Candy Apple and the Champagne Apple and Honey, and they were part of the MOS, so they were in a bin. These ended up being, I believe, a dollar something or 99 cents. I forget, but they were super cheap. And one of my subscribers mentioned that I called this a hand sanitizer spray, which I totally did, but I had no idea this was a fragrance mist. So this is one of their older warm vanilla sugar fragrance mists. So I got one of those and I'm loving this Bray Wolf cone. It smells so much nicer than the three wick candle in my opinion. So I wish I got another one because they had two in the store. So these two were also MOS items and ended up being around, ugh, I don't know, a dollar, dollar something, super cheap. Now let's go to pocket back holders. I ended up getting three gummy bears. So I got two orange gummy bears and one yellow plus the nutcracker. And that one was an MOS item. So it was about $2.24, I believe. Amazing. I love it. And oh, it's getting bigger. And speaking of pocket backs, we got, or why did I say we? I got four pocket backs. So I believe the two noirs were a quarter. So that was awesome. Plus one sweet apple and first sight. Those two end up being 49 cents. Next category, mini perfumes. And it's kind of dark, but we have two Calypso Clementine perfumes and two Chasing Fireflies. So I did end up getting four mini perfumes. They were, I think, $3.95 or $3.50, something like that. So, yep, four more of those. And quite possibly the most boring items in my collective haul would be my two Woodlands uh, deodorants they were probably a couple bucks each but can't beat that price and that is everything i purchased so those were all of the groups that you just saw let's take a look at everything and let's see how crazy i went this sass and did i go overboard yes i did this is what i told myself i was not going to do again this year i'll insert a clip of what i purchased last year um, it was worse. It was worse. But you know what? You can get a lot of great stuff during SAS. And I mean, perfume was for what? 15 bucks or the A Thousand Wishes, 11 bucks. You can get a lot of great stuff. Those uh, hand soap refills were $3 and something cents. Bunch of candles for five, six dollars. Uh, yeah, technically you only need to shop Bath and Body Works maybe once or twice a year and be done with it. But of course we like new stuff. Halloween's coming up pretty soon. So yeah, um, I will be tame for the rest of the year. Um, and if I am not, then you can call me a liar because I deserve it. Okay, quickly, I'm going to go through my favorite finds for this sass. So I'm going to say my favorite finds were all of my candles, but more specifically, Pure Wonder, Strawberry Snowflakes, and the Black Tie. I thought those were awesome because I randomly called the store in Tustin and asked if they had any candles for a 75% off and they said yes. And the lady said yes, she just put three down on the table so she saved those for me. And I haven't seen them all of SAS so those were really nice but I'm enjoying all of the candles that I got for semi-annual sale especially since I was able to swap out a few of them. And the cheapest candle ended up being... I believe Candy Emporium, that was $4.65 or something like that. So that was awesome. And of course, my biggest goal was to get the Clips of Clementine in the perfume. And so I got six of them, obviously. And that was my other best find for SAS, including the A Thousand Wishes and colognes. I believe every SAS I say, my goals would be perfumes and candles. So those are my favorite items that I got. And I guess also the hand soap refill because they were so cheap and that may have been a mistake. Plus the Luminous gift set, that being seven bucks, that was amazing. There's a chance I might swap it out for a newer gift set, but we'll see. Plus the MLS items. So yeah, those were my favorite items. But the best thing that happened this SAS was getting that free $72 merchandise gift card that was totally by mistake it was a glitch i guess so i happily accepted that and that definitely helped with uh my overall haul because as you can see i did get a lot 
I think I counted 100 items, so I definitely went overboard. But the gift card definitely helped. And yeah, that was my 2024 summer sass. And I think I need to slow my roll for the next uh, half year. So hope you like my collective haul for this sass. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.